Okay, this is to answer Bo McBeatty's question in the Cool Edit Pro group uh, that I run to answer any questions relating to Cool Edit Pro. A great little audio editor. It says, he needs a crash course for a beginner. I play saxophone and I want to be able to import a recorded song, loop the solo parts, slow it down, etc. so that I can pick up the notes. So let's just do that. Let's do importing a song. So you go into Cool Edit, File, Open, and then just pick from the normal file menu system. I'm just going to pick this because it's here. Something I was working on with one of my guitar students. So there you go. Um, that's how to open a track. What else? Um, loop the solo parts. So to do that, you go um, just anywhere in the song. I'm going to just click a little bit. If I want to loop something to learn it, I'll probably just do it this way. You just select it by clicking and dragging across. Select left click, sorry. Um, to select it and drag that across and then go into edit copy and then just click just to the right of the selected area there and paste there yeah. it's a loud motorbike <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same thing edit paste and I might do the same thing again if I'm learning it. Paste. So that's the same bit repeated over and over again. So that's that. What's next? Um, slow it down. So to slow a piece down you just select the bit that you want to do by left clicking and dragging across and then you go into effects and time and pitch stretch and this will stretch the waveform out so it doesn't adjust the um, the pitch of something, it'll adjust the time of it but not the pitch so you get a true slower sound um, so the ratio is the so I'll get that like 70% or thereabouts there we go. You can see the waveform stretching out there, so this is a bit quicker, then it'll go slower. So you can hear that slowing down there. It's not great quality, but you get the idea. You can certainly pick out the notes better. And the last bit, uh, it says this is kind of urgent. It needs to mute out the lead vocal or the lead horn and save it as a backup. So to mute out the lead, I'll go from here. All you do is select the bit that you want. Or well, you can select the whole track if you want. I'm going to select a little bit of it. And go into favorites and this little thing here, vocal cut, which is shift, alt and V on a PC. And just press that. That should take out the lead vocal. So here he goes. So I just chopped out a bit of lead vocal there from the track, from a pre-mixed track. And to save it, if I'm happy with that, you just go file, save as, and then you change the the file name to something, whatever you want to change it to, um, and click save. Oh, the the file type as well, and there's lots of different file types there. I just saved mine as a WAV or an MP3, um, and it'll save it into the folder of your choosing. So there you go, Bo. I hope that helped. Any more questions, just put them to the group. I hope we'll help you out.